okay guys hi guys so in yesterday's session we discussed how to write select statements using inline declarations and we compared it with the existing old ABAP syntaxes where we need to create type structures and need to define data elements sorry work areas and internal table using that uh, type structure but here in inline declarations you don't need to use any type structures to select the required fields right we have also gone through text to tables what is the use of text to tables language provide language provide language what language is language translation Yes, language translation, language translation, right? It will automatically translate the language, right? It will automatically display the output in the required language. Depends on the user login, right? To maintain different texts in different languages, which one we use? Which one we use to maintain the text in different languages? Text tables. Text table. We use text table. In the text table, language key is the primary key. Language key is the primary key along with that master data attribute. For example, if you take MAKT, what is MAKT table? Material text, material names, or material descriptions will be maintained in now. MAKT. What is the master table? Material master table? MARA. 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 And the text table for Mara is MAKT. How can you find a text table? When you open the master table in go to menu, you can find a text go table to. option. Okay. We can also, like when we are creating the custom tables, right? We can also add a custom text tables as per the requirement i'll show you how to do that so you can do that through foreign key and there we have an option assign as a text table when you are assigning the foreign key relationship we'll create that later now we'll work more on the select statements how many of you know structures? How many of you know the structure? Yes. All of you know the data dictionary structures, right? Yes. What is the structure? Yes. It is a collection of fields. Group of fields. fields. Right? Can we store data in structure? No, sir. No, runtime. Runtime. Data can be stored only at runtime. Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys are answering, but single word answers. That doesn't Sorry. make sense. You need to. That's that's why you need to improve communication. Yes. Right. You should be able to build a sentence. Okay. Okay. Practice. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, so how many, uh, like, what are the inputs we have used as of now? Selection screen inputs. Parameters, right? Yes. In parameters, how many inputs we can pass? In, in a, in a, in a in single parameter. Input. Single input. We can pass only single value. We cannot pass more than one value right for example if you take material type here we can pass only roh in uh, industry sector mbrsh we can pass only m in each parameter we can pass only single value right by using these parameters as inputs right when we are trying to select the data how many uh, records you can select the records only with uh, these values roh and the industry sector m 
you can select the records only with these values okay for example you have a uh, student data report program student data program input for the student data program is uh, uh, some branch okay branch there you can enter for example csc you can you can select only records from uh, csc branch correct yes sir but i need a requirement i have a requirement to select uh, multiple branches also i want to see students from multiple branches also csc and ece and mechanical is it possible to provide that input here if you no, are sir. select say, a parameter at a time no. it can accept only single input so that you can select only that uh, data related to this input it is not allowing us to enter multiple values as uh, inputs right yes sir how can we provide uh, multiple inputs <clears throat> for example for material type i need to provide multiple material types so that i can select the materials which belongs to those material type material types but currently it is allowing me to enter only no, one sir. material type for that we have uh, select options what is the option we have select options using select options user can pass uh, multiple values as input multiple values as input there are different combinations in the select option there are different combinations in the select option we'll see one by one by using select options we can provide multiple inputs multiple inputs in the sense not use it to display use it to use it to provide or use it to enter the multiple inputs in the selection screen what do we use okay. select options parameters are used to enter only single value as input let's say if parameter is empty observe the program is this the mandatory parameter in the selection screen is this the mandatory parameter in the selection screen <coughs> how can you make it as a mandatory parameter obligatory by using obligatory but we are not yes, using sir. that now okay what happens if user did not enter anything what happens if user did not enter anything execute it i am not entering anything execute it is it going to display any output is it going to select oh. any data from uh, database table parameters oh. are empty 
select statement is failed no data selected because Found. parameter always check for exact value whatever the value we entered in the parameter that should be available in the table then only it can select that exactly. specific record even now we did not enter anything right it is blank right if parameter if if there is any blank record with empty empty rt it will select that record okay clear if you don't enter anything it will expect a empty value in the record in the table level right since there is no empty values for this empty rt it, it is not able to select any data parameter always expects exact value in the table whatever you enter here if you don't enter any if you don't enter anything it will expect a blank value it won't select any other record if there is a blank value it will select that record because parameter is blank it will expect a blank value in the table okay but how the select option will work if you don't enter anything in the select option if you don't enter anything in the select option what it will do it will select all the records it will ignore the where condition if you don't enter any values in the select option it will ignore the where condition it will select all the records from the table clear yes, but if you don't enter anything in the parameter it won't select any data okay if select option is blank it will select all the records from the table ignores the where condition okay it won't filter any data it will select all available records from the table clear now different options available in select option here in parameters we can only pass a single value right but in select options we can pass multiple single values multiple ranges we can pass we can pass multiple single values as well as multiple ranges what is single values means exact specific values 100 101 104 105 106 multiple single values if you want to select a specific values specific records with specific values but multiple values right you want to select multiple students if you want to select multiple materials but you know what are those exact materials okay you can use multiple single values what is ranges from 100 to 200 select uh, these records between 100 to 200 okay. 100 to 500 select records between 100 to 500 like that you can provide multiple ranges also 100 to 200 is one range 300 to 400 is one range 
700 to 800 is one one more range three ranges it will select according to those ranges okay you can provide multiple ranges also when we go for multiple single values you know the exact values what you need to enter in the input they are multiple multiple inputs okay the other important option we can include records or exclude the records what do you mean by include exclude for example you entered multiple ranges you entered multiple ranges for example 100 to 200 and uh, 300 to 400 when you say include what does that mean you are saying hey select uh, records between 100 to 200 and uh, 300 to 400 that is include when you say exclude what do you mean by that hey don't select records between 100 to 200 and 300 to 400 select remaining records that's what means exclude clear when you say include select only these records when you say exclude select records except whatever i entered in the input rest of the records okay include and exclude clear yes sir for multiple single values it is equal to for multiple ranges or single range between okay clear for exclude it is e i'll show you we pass these values when we are using select options for include i is everyone clear is everyone clear yes sir now in select option in select option we have a structure we have a structure that is sign what are the fields available in the structure sign option low high these are the four fields available in select option structure what are the fields sign option low and high what do we have in sign sign is nothing but we specify include or exclude we can specify include the records or exclude the records when you use i it will select for example you entered these values 100 101 102 103 1010 these are single values multiple single values right now what is the sign we need to pass include or exclude if you use include it will select only the specific records if you use exclude it will select records other than these records it will restrict uh, you records which you entered here and it will select all the rest of the records when you use uh, exclude and when we are using say, single values what is the option we need to enter equal to for single mm -hmm. values it is always uh, equal to because we are trying to select the exact values right it yes, is sir. equal to but when you use ranges lower value and higher value when you use ranges for ranges also we have include and exclude to include the range or to exclude the range what is the option we use for ranges between between option we use is between first and we have two more fields low and high lower value higher value when we are using ranges we provide lower value and higher value between these two values 
records will be selected or excluded if we use exclude when we use single values we use only low only low in low we enter the multiple values clear What is the structure of the select option? Sign. Let me draw a table or sign what are the fields of the select option structure option sign low and high this is very important interview question as well please observe and we are going to use very frequently in the programs low lower value high upper value in sign, what are the values we can pass? Include, include or exclude. exclude. Here, equal to between or, between. or between. between. Lower value, higher value. Okay. For example, some 10 to 20. You can pass the single values also in lower field. Okay. Clear? Now, what is the syntax to define the select option? We, we need to define right before using it, just like parameter. What is the syntax to define the select option? select options before using the select option right we need to define one uh, variable you know how to define a variable right what is the statement to define a variable what is the statement data. to define the variable data data, data. variable yeah. LV underscore matner type. type the data element whatever the data, data element and length when you are using data element why you need to use length data element contains uh, no. all the yes, sir, no, right. semantic properties but when you use it data type individual data type then we need to use length okay length, yes sir yes sir Select options, some name, what, assign some name. I think uh, that should be less than eight characters. That should be less than eight characters. Name should be less than eight characters. Please remember that rule. Some SO underscore Matner for, for LV underscore matner so underscore matner for lv underscore matner this is how we define a select option this name can be anything 
you should not there is no rule that you have to use the same name but you should follow some uh, naming convention conventions when you look at this name you can easily identify it it looks like it's a uh, select option because it's starting with sv right yes sir so always follow some naming convention you can take any name for example if you take p matner is it going to define a parameter or select option if you take p underscore if you take p underscore matner so what type select of object option, it is going to create parameter or select option select option yes name doesn't matters matter <laughs> right if you take p that doesn't yes, that doesn't mean that yesterday i told you a example right yes sir yes sir but we do some naming convention for our flexibility okay this is the syntax to define the select option okay how to pass default value to parameter how to pass default values to the parameter all sorry what is it by boss and default yeah we use the default keyword right here we use default and some roh it will automatically display that input right whatever the value we make it as a default value now yes sir similarly i need that default value functionality for uh, select options also how can you pass default values to the select options we cannot directly use uh, default keyword and pass the values here what can you do you need to build a structure if you want to pass the default values otherwise you don't need to write any code you can just using it in your where condition you can just use it in your where condition but but if you want to pass some default values in the selection screen input what you need to do you need to build the structure with values what is the select option structure name here in our example what is the select option structure name assume it as a work area so underscore matner so yes, underscore matner uh, what are the fields what are the fields of the select option sign sign okay do you want to include the include this value or exclude this value include include capital that should be capital and option option do you want to select range or uh, exact value single value exact exact, exact, exact value then use equal to eq then low low for example some 10 do we need to pass the high value do we need to pass the high value S since we are selecting the no, single sir. value high value is not required okay yes sir then append all of you are familiar right with the statement append statement append yes one underscore matter two that's it you don't need to use two okay it follows uh, a world concept called header line okay okay so it will behave as a work area and internal table itself okay yes sir. when you are passing these values it will behave like a work area when you are using append statement it will add it to the internal table it internal table okay now when i pass the range when i need to pass the range how can you pass
في الرينج ويوزه هاي equal to some 20 okay. and what about the option option is between okay that's it append if you want to exclude use e yes sir now you need to add now we, uh, if you need to add multiple ranges or multiple uh, single values what you need to do write one more append write one more append like this for single values equal to and 11 append it will append the one more single value if you want to append one more range multiple ranges If you need to append, if you need to use multiple ranges as default values, you need to add one more, uh, one more append statement. But when exactly we use these append statements? When we want to display default values in the selection screen inputs, we need to write like this. Okay? If we don't need to display the default values, do we need to write this? no select option will itself handle everything you don't need to write anything but when we need to display default values like this in the selection screen then only you need to write uh, these statements is your one clear is your one clear yes sir yes sir okay now how to write a select statement using select op select options so what type of select statement we write do you write select single statements or uh, select statements for select options usually just think about it select options means it is for multiple inputs for multiple Multiples. inputs uh, we can expect multiple records right yes sir mostly we use internal tables that means select not select singles okay clear your select statement will be select matner mtart mbrsh from mara into table at the rate data of um, some lt underscore mara ls ls why ls why you need a structure no question work here that is that is kind of a single record right anyway you can use ls yes sir you can use ls but it will create a internal table with the with the name ls okay where for example you created a select option for matner right where matner in not equal to when we are using select option what you need to use in in matner in so underscore matter if you have multiple select options you can write using and you can also use combination of select options and parameters and mbr sh equal to p underscore you can also use like this i think i forgot the escape sign at the rate symbol yeah this is how we write select uh, select statements using uh, select options here we can pass multiple inputs clear let's create the program i'm changing i'm changing mtart to select option 
I'm commenting this. I'm commenting this. I'll keep the parameter one parameter industry sector as it is. What is the syntax to define the select option? What is the prerequisite? A variable data LVR GV. You can take any name LV underscore. MTRT. Mm. What is the syntax to define the select option? Select options. Select options. Some name, for example, SO underscore M type. M type means material type. For, for which one? LV underscore. MTRT. There is one alternative way also to define the select option without using variable, but it is always recommended to use uh, this method. Define the variable and use that variable in the reference. Okay, that's it. Check the syntax. Here, what you need to pass in the where condition? We have commented the parameter. Now, instead of parameter, what you are going to use? Select option. I'm removing this. MTRT in. If you are not using inline declarations, you don't need to use this escape sign between select options or parameters. Okay. Now check the syntax. No syntax errors activate. Okay. We defined a select option, right? We need to maintain selection text. Selection text for that. Industry sector. What is material type? Activate this. How the select option will display? Execute the program like this okay select option will be displayed like this you can pass the industry sector as a single value and for material type you can pass the multiple values let's try multiple single values if, if you you can enter single value also if you like if your requirement uh, is to use only single value enter only single value and execute the program it will display data according to that single value but if you want to enter multiple values you can enter okay how can you enter multiple values click on here click on here this multiple selections and enter one more value what is the other material type we have let me check new GUI window S11 Mara ERSCAD uh, sorry ERSD we can take ERSD and few other KEBC or KELB KELB okay now observe here when you click on that interval symbol right you can have single values ranges ranges here ranges also here what is this exclude single values if you want to exclude any values you can enter you can enter here if you want to exclude any values from the selection you can enter here exclude ranges if you want to exclude any ranges if you want to restrict any ranges you can enter those ranges here clear these are for include first two are for include next two are for exclude clear 
execute now now execute the program so what is the condition we are using now it is selecting roh ersd few other okay what is the condition we are using for industry sector not equal to right but we did not enter anything we did not enter anything here that's why it is checking for blank it is checking for blank value in mara but it is not able to find a blank value that's why it is displaying most of the values if you use equal to it will check for the exact value if that exact value is available then only it will select the data roh let's enter m so these are the records available with the given combination let me keep a breakpoint enter the multiple values execute execute this now double click on the select state select option double click on the select option one work area and one internal table type double click on the internal table with these brackets double click how many records we have here how many records are there in this internal table three records three records observe the fields sign option low high it, no. it is automatically populated the structure we did not do anything we just entered the values it, it, it is automatically populated the structure for sign include option is equal to and low value because we are we, we have entered only single values right for these kind of values right material types industry sectors this for these kind of values we use single values only when we go for ranges for example date created date records created between this date and this date right material numbers between this number and this number so for such kind of examples we go for ranges okay now observe one more thing whenever i execute the program every time I, i need to enter the input right every time i need to enter the input right i need to enter the single values industry sector and everything right come back so execute i need to enter the same data again right yes or no i need to enter one more time right same data can't we reuse previously entered inputs we can reuse using a variant enter the input enter all your input and save as variant save as variant provide some name you don't need to use z or anything you can use any name <coughs> provide the input click on save now you can observe this symbol your variant is saved next time when you execute the program you don't need to enter all the inputs from the beginning go to variant select this select your variant it will automatically populate the inputs if you want to change anything you can change okay clear sir yes sir so in general like in in uh, projects there might be multiple select options and parameters every time we don't need to enter the same input right for testing we saved it as a variant we save it as a variant and we just select that variant whenever required you don't need to enter all the values every time okay inputs can be saved as a variant this is very important clear yes,
<coughs> now let's try with ranges let's try with ranges you can enter the range here for example material type is not suitable as a range let's create one more select option that is for uh, created date we can use for material type also but that that doesn't make any sense we'll, we'll take a uh, created date of the material what is the field name created date er sda data element is also same er sda i'll define one more select option for that what is the prerequisite define a variable type s4 underscore mm, <coughs> date for lv underscore now use this in your select statement and ersda in date okay break it to the next line maintain the selection text for that for now I am not maintaining that execute provide the industry sector or you can select the values from here from variant and for this enter the data for example I want to select records created between uh, some 2022 this date to current date okay if you want to pass the multiple ranges if you want to pass the multiple ranges click on here it is already populated with single range if you want to pass the multiple ranges enter those multiple ranges here range 1 range 2 range 3 if you want to exclude the range enter here if you want to exclude any range if you don't want to select records created between certain period you don't want those records then where you need to enter in exclude ranges okay now execute now execute we can see the different uh, difference between both select options when you use single values and when we use uh, ranges double click on the both both select options double click on the date observe the structure what does it contains single record because we entered only single range if you enter multiple ranges how many records you can find here if you enter two different ranges how many records you can find in select option two records what is the sign include what is the option for ranges hope you guys between. are not sleeping no sir yes sir between okay between and low value and higher value if you enter multiple ranges it will display multiple records okay yes sir now these are the records created between the given dates now it will check for all these three combinations industry sector material type and record should be created between uh, specific dates for example these let dates. me change the date let me change the date to 2023 august 1st to current date and let me provide one more range March 1st to some April end I am providing multiple ranges here lower limit is greater than upper limit okay looks like I selected May here instead of March 
let me select March value okay now it should work execute this is the now I have only few values because I'm using specific date range right Sir. now how many records will be available in this select option date range select option you can see two records okay clear Sir. okay select it as variant because I updated we, we have added one more input right select that that one also in the same existing variant save it overwrite yes now you don't need to enter every every time yes now let's observe how to pass the values default inputs default inputs to the select option for that we need to use a variant sorry uh, event we need to use a, use a event after uh, after your uh, parameter declarations right use initialization we'll discuss more about the events these are very important in report programs for now just remember initialization initialization event what is the use of initialization event it is used to pass the default values to the selection screen inputs. when it will be executed before displaying the selection screen When this will be executed, when this uh, installation event will be executed, before displaying before the selection done. screen inputs. Okay. What is selection screen? Where you can enter yeah. the inputs. Yeah. Right. Parameters and select options will be displayed here. Now, how to populate default values to the select options? For parameters, how can you pass the default value? Like this P underscore. You can use default keyword, but you can use same thing in uh, initialization also MBRSH. But what is the difference? When we go for initialization, here you can use some calculated values also. In initialization, you can use calculated values also. You can write select statements also with, without simply providing default. Okay. We'll discuss more about that. To pass the default values to the parameter, we can simply do like this just like a variable inside the initialization but if you want to pass the value values to the select option we need to populate the structure for example let's pass the date hyphen sign equal to include or exclude let's say include let's take include not data date i think date hyphen option equal to between s underscore date hyphen low equal to what we need to pass here starting date for example what is the what is the format what is the date format we need to pass here tell me year, year, year month, month date year month date. date without separators for example uh, 2023 20, 01 and some 30 that is the starting date so underscore date hyphen high equal to for example s5 hyphen datum what is s5 hyphen datum current date current system current date. Date. so yes, what sir. i am saying here hey select data from january 30th 2023 to current Today. date yes sir if you execute tomorrow tomorrow's date it will automatically populate if you execute after 10 days it will automatically populate that 10 days later date right yes sir and append so underscore date you can also pass some calculated values 
like this. I am adding one more range, second range. Include between, but I am not passing this date. I want to select records between now. If I am executing today, the start date should be this month, uh, like 30 days before date. If I am executing today, the starting date should be 30 days before date. How can you do that? SY iPhone datum minus, minus 30. 30. Now lower value is 30 days before date. Current value is today's date. You can also pass like this. Yes, sir. Okay. You can do all those calculations here. Depends on your requirement. Now here I am passing two ranges. If you want to pass three ranges, one more append. Okay. For example, minus uh, 50 days here. This one current date is system date minus uh, 40 days. Some some logic, whatever you want. Okay. Clear. To pass uh, single values. To pass single values, how can you pass? For example. Yes, so underscore M type hyphen sign equal to I option equal to EQ hyphen low equal to lower value, for example, M no higher value required append s underscore m type that's it to pass the multiple single values you need to enter one more append statement some b some industry sector whatever you know okay like that you can keep on adding depends on the requirement clear is everyone clear yes sir what is the use of initialization event? Passing the default value. To pass the default values to selection screen inputs. When the initialization event will be executed? Before, before the selection screen execution. Before displaying the selection screen. But remember yes, one sir. thing. If you use initialization event and if you implement some code, you should use remaining events also. Remaining events for business logic. Initialization event is only to provide the default values, right? But when we use installation event, rest of the code also will execute along with this installation event. Rest of the code also will execute. So that we need to use start of selection. This is for Hello, Moto. This is for business logic. Whatever the data selection functionality whatever the calculations you have to do in which event we do that start of selection event okay what is the event for business logic business logic nothing but the actual program functionality selecting the data doing some calculations in which event we do start of selection, start of selection event okay Yes, but sir. when you use uh, installation, right, it is mandatory to use startup selection because your, your select statements also will execute before displaying the selection screen. Okay? Yes, Clear? Sir. Clear. You can try that, removing the startup selection, how the program is working. Okay? Just use installation and try how the program is working and try with startup selection, how the program is working. Okay? We have many events. Right? We'll discuss that in the next session. They're very important. Very, very important interview question on events. Okay? For now, remember, initialization and startup selection. Initialization is for default values. Startup selection is for which one? Business logic. Business logic. Yeah, business logic. There is a syntax error. What is the syntax error? SO date is unknown, but uh, there is a, there is a similar field with name SO data. 
what is the selector option we took okay i think we, let me change it to date here also we'll change it to date not sing sign let's say if you, like there is a syntax error that is available in different places that is available in different places there is a typing issue that i that i have used in many places do you need to go go to every uh, error and you need to correct uh, manually no first select this control f replace replace with the correct value and uh, replace all I think it's replaced in uh, this one also. Let me correct it. In select single also. See, in select single also. S I G N is there. Control Z. I'll take like this. Check the syntax. I'll use hyphen also. Replace with hyphen. sign replace all now it's replaced in the exact place now no syntax errors activate let me keep a break keep a break point here if you observe here values are automatically populated right did i select the variant did i selected the variant did i select no, the variant no, no no i did not select no. these are automatically populated from uh, installation event okay yes, i think looks like i am using incorrect value for material type that should not be m right some roh or something where is material type i'll use uh, roh execute now observe the select option execute the program observe the select options first one second one in first one material type we have two records i think i need to correct it we have two records m and b in the second select option we have three records with ranges because we have populated multiple ranges right and these two records are some calculated values correct yes sir what is the what is the let's take one example so last one is system date minus 50 days and system date minus 40 days that means there should be only 10 days gap between lower value and higher value July 14th is the start date and uh, July 24th is the end date only 10 days gap right that is correct yes sir oh i did a mistake here i changed it uh, in the parameter not in the select option where is uh, uh, this one right roh is it clear if we don't pass any values in uh, any select option is it going to work or not if i don't enter any values in the select option what it will do it will select all the available records okay it will select all the available records yes. if you don't pass any values to the parameter when you are using only parameter it won't select any data okay clear i'll show you one more thing sometimes sometimes we may need to restrict the users to enter multiple ranges or multiple values sometimes for example we provided the date and if they provide 
date be, uh, date between five years start date and end date it, it will try to select five years data right from the table yes sir it should take lot of time to complete the task because it needs to select last five years data sometimes yes. we need to restrict the users to enter only single values okay how can you do that in select options we have a select option with the I need to restrict the users to enter the range so I should allow the users only to enter multiple single values for example for material type range is not required right for material type even we cannot select the data by range because it's not some numerical value right to say that uh, select between 10 to 20, uh, 10 to 20 or 20 to 30 it's a character type value no intervals what is the option we can use no yes. intervals no intervals then observe this how it will display the select option execute we don't have higher value here user can enter only single values okay user can enter only single values clear higher value will not be considered is everyone clear yes sir and you can also make it as obligatory if you want select for select options also we can use a obligatory keyword to make it mandatory okay you can see this symbol okay is everyone clear on the select options very important select yes. options and how to provide the default values to the select options are we validating any inputs are we validating any inputs or just directly passing it to the select statement whatever the value entered by the user we are not validating right is it a correct value or not so whatever the value entered by the user and we are presenting presenting it to select statement where condition right are we checking is it a correct value or not are we doing that check to check uh, what, uh, for example I, I will enter x am i validating this x is a collect industry sector or not i don't know right x might be a no. incorrect industry sector also i don't know yes yes we are not doing that validation we are just presenting it to data selection we need to do validation before proceeding with the data selection but currently we are not doing that we have a special event for validations what is that event at selection screen initialization is for default values it will just pass some default values that's it it's not going to validate anything what is the use of at selection screen event validate the inputs before going to execute the select statement when this at selection screen event will execute <laughs> when you click on execute it will at selection screen will execute and validate the inputs if there are any errors in the input it will stop the process it won't go to startup selection okay after execute or before output screen before displaying the output screen it will validate the inputs if they are correct values it will allow otherwise it will stay it will show the current uh, selection screen it won't allow you to proceed further from the uh, selection screen until this you correct the 
input for example if you enter incorrect value in industry sector you are validating this input in the excel screen it will throw a error it won't let error. you display the output and the output yes sir. until you complete this uh, until you provide the correct input right what is the event we use to validate the selection screen inputs at selection screen at selection screen we should use at selection screen only after uh, initialization and before start of selection sequence of the events are very important sequence is very important first thing is should be initialization and uh, next one should be start, uh, selection screen and next uh, next one should be start of selection start of selection and is it really mandatory to use all the events no if you don't want to pass any default values initialization is not required if you don't want to validate any inputs uh, that selection screen is not required okay clear we'll discuss more on the events in the next yes, session So everyone, please practice using select options and try to use uh, events. Do, okay? At least just mention the events. Don't uh, like you, you. You may need to write any uh, selection screen validations, but just try to mention those events in the program in the sequence. For example, to validate the material type, how can you validate? How can you know that is a valid uh, material type or not? go to material type in the mara table uh, observe what is the check table of this what is the check table for material type what is the check table for material type t1 t1 go to that table go to that table check the input entered by the user is uh, available in this check table or not so right if the entry is available in the check table for example user entered uh, m right validate is that m available in the check table or not m sorry material type right roh roh we are using execute is it available or not ROH is available. Then it is a valid entry. For example, let's say ROZ. This is not available. Then it is a invalid entry. How can you validate the selection screen inputs? Validate against that corresponding check table. For material type, what is the check table? T134D. Sorry, T134. How can you find the check tables? Go to the table. And check foreign key relationship. That is a check table. For industry sector, check table is T137. Material group, MATKL, check the check table is T023. For most of the fields, you can find the check tables. Not for numerical fields, okay? For attributes. For example, go to the check table, T134. In this check table, you can find a corresponding text table also to maintain description of the material type, to maintain the material type names in different languages. What is the use of text tables? For language translation, automatic language, language translation. translation. If you find any check table, you can find a text table inside that. Okay? Where they are going to maintain the descriptions in that uh, text table everyone clear so 
so when you are doing validations you have to check that value against a check table is that available in the check table or not okay you should not check in the transactional tables right you should only check in uh, that corresponding check tables to validate the entry clear so in the next session we'll discuss about uh, events and we'll continue with the uh, uh, multiple select options and uh, multiple select statements so this is the uh, check table for uh, material type here we don't maintain the text name of the material type for example if you take m uh, sorry roh we don't maintain the name of the material type in this table where do we maintain that the material type name will be maintained in the corresponding text tables okay here you can check go to text table there you can check the text table assigned for material type master table or check table okay please practice this we'll continue in the next session let me show you it's opened go to text table what is the table name T134 T. Most of the text table names will with the end uh, will ends with the T. Okay. Mm. Check the foreign key relationship MTRT. What is the what is the check table for this text table? T134 T1. is the check table for a text table. But here, if you observe, what is the option they have selected? Key field of a text table that is what that is how you can assign the text table key field of a text table you need to select that and you need to provide the cardinality one to cn one to many for each material type you can find multiple records in the text table in multiple languages similarly you can find text table for all the uh, attributes